Okay, Steve, we're, we're sat in the Volvo now. If you want to just talk us through some of the controls that you uh, get to play with. Right, um, we've got um, a split screen AMPR system in front of us. Um, as you can see, a car just going by now. What I do is I read a registration plate, and that registration plate has come up. We can see what the car is. There's a picture of a registration plate. When it's taken that registration plate number, it's checking it against numerous databases, of which there are about 60, 70 databases being run on this computer at this present time from all over the country. Forces send each other intelligence, cross-border activities we try to curtail. Um, that information is stored on a database, which is um, downloaded daily. Um, so whenever a vehicle goes by, when you've just seen that registration number come up, it's clicked that it's checked that registration number against all those numerous databases. Um, if there is any intelligence on there, uh, we would get an, an alarm activation, um, and it would tell us what that particular intelligence is. Split screen for the front. We have a uh, hydraulic um, moving of the camera, and as you can see, we can just move it around to point at any area we want. I just picked up the registration of the motorbike. We can zoom in from here so we can actually sit quite far back from a junction if we want to look at a junction and we can zoom in and out on the camera, on the front camera. The back camera, which is situated behind the headrest from where you're sat, is uh, electronically uh, controlled by electronic motor and all we do for, to control that is to move the camera left and right on here and up and down to get to a position where we want. So if we want to sit beside the road um, in a lay-by, in, in a safe area, safe place to park. We can sit there and then we can just move the cameras to suit our needs. Just that. Okay, so what does this um, control on the left do, the one with the uh, the red 999 button? Uh, yeah, this, the, uh, when you asked me a question outside about the lights, this is the, the woodway which controls um, the, the, the light system on, on top. Basically, you've got the 360. Um, it's all self-explanatory. Uh, front strobe. Um, if we're driving along um, and we're trying to get to a job, what we may do is have the uh, front strobe activated but not the rear strobe, so as we overtake people we're not blinding them with our strobe or rear strobes on at night time. Um, we've got a headlight flash um, which we can activate as well because that's quite, it uh, draws your eye to it if you're looking in a rear view mirror. Sometimes the blue lights don't seem to do it but headlight flash, alternative headlight flashes tend to um, grab your attention. Um, we've got um, these and this line here, take down left alley, right alley, it's just, it's just like a, a miniature spotlight, which we can use if we're stopped at side of at night time and we're stopping somebody or we're searching somebody, we can activate the lights, so we've got a little bright light um, to the sides or to the front to see what we're doing when we're doing the search. 999, it does as it says on the tin basically, we press that button, everything comes on, siren comes on, lights come on, um, it just enables us that if we get a call we've got to get somewhere quickly instead of looking over and pressing all the buttons we can just press that one button like that and everything comes on <laughs> so that'll be the siren and all the lights will come on at the same time and like when we get there we can press arrival and if we press arrival what will happen is automatically what will automatically happen is that the rear lights will come on as well um, and then just reset to switch it all off Pretty complex system then. Uh, it's, it's, it does. It, we, we need it because obviously we've got to be seen at night time and during the daytime. If we want to stop a vehicle, um, we've got to draw our attention to the fact that we want that vehicle to stop. So we, uh, and likewise, if we're going to an incident, that we've got to get there fairly quick. Um, they use as warning lights, and, and uh, yeah, it's quite it's quite efficient. And what about the the, uh, the module below the uh, the main screen? What, what's that for? Yeah, that's our secure radio. Uh, it's an airwave set which we use to transmit. Um, or recordings or whenever we want to uh, send a request or anything to communication room um, that's our handset for it we've got a, we basically got a handset here which the passenger can use to activate to talk on the radio or alternatively if I'm here by myself or, or if I'm driving um, there is a toggle switch here so I can drive and activate that switch from underneath the steering wheel which allows me um, to drive safely and also keep uh, control of the vehicle the steering wheel whilst transmitting so it saves me having to lean over one hand on the radio and trying to steer with one hand.